doing our concrete floors today. I am just so thrilled. This was poured about two and a half years ago. So how amazing to see the finishing work. Different kind of sander or something you put on? Yeah. Well, they're, these are 30 grit, these are 50, 50 grit. Gotcha. The hand grinder? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You can go around all these edges now, mm -hmm. grind all that. Nice. Rick, you made it sound like your job was tough. I had no idea you just sat there and drove around a toy with a remote control the whole time. That looks super easy. I could do that. I'm only kidding. You guys did an absolute fantastic job on this floor. Originally, we were going to do polished concrete floors. And the process for that is they keep grinding it finer and finer until it actually shows a mirror image is like glass. And the problem that we we're going to run into with that is that's exposed concrete so if you drop anything acidic on it like pickle juice or dog pee or one of the kids throws up on the floor it's going to etch into that concrete if it's not taken off fast enough and we did not want to deal with that and also the polished concrete can be a very slippery surface when it gets wet so we didn't want to have the fall hazard so we opted for a product called impact so they do a semi polish on the floor that exposes the aggregate and um, it, it gives that look and then they do a two-part epoxy on that floor that's clear and I believe that they put a aluminum oxide in it which gives it like an emery board finish like a nail file um, which gives it some grit so when it gets wet you're not going to slip on your keister but I was actually out of town when they did these floors and so I got to come home to this and oh my gosh is it absolutely gorgeous turned out perfect you guys thank you so much for your hard work and just beautiful finished product cabinet installers are here this morning they look stunning they're amazing it's it's all that detail work that uh, I really appreciate living in a camper to living in our pole barn for the last two and a half years picking out things like little spice racks that are in the drawer next to the stove and things like that just all the little things give me the joys of uh, this house project and um, yeah so I just want to see where they're at our electric company we're working with Brightside Electric been getting their work done so there's lights for them we even have flip it around here I'll have to show it to you at night Right there. They're beautiful. So besides all these other companies we have working on the house right now, 
Ian is still doing plenty around here. Lots of odds and ends. Got the salon, my salon station he's putting in. Getting that up and ready and put together. Got the vanity put in here in the downstairs bathroom. So just coming right along here, it's looking gorgeous. Now, <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and he's gonna be cutting the door frame. You kinda just put in a temporary sizing. Now we know what our slider's gonna be there, so he needs to open up a little bit. So let's take a look and see. Hot. Is it hot? The sparks are hot on my head. Yeah, I was gonna say, along with all the hairspray and sweater I'm wearing, I don't wanna get too close to you, I'll burst into flames myself. <laughs> no, this is from before. Oh. Character. Mm, yeah. Rugs. Okay. <laughs> I don't think my rug will go up that far. How'd you burn that? When I was cutting the container with the torch. <laughs> got so hot that it popped it. Oh. But now this will have to be redone. What What's that? Do? Oh, they cleared over like where they couldn't grind. Okay. They couldn't get the grinder in there before. But now, maybe when he fixes, there's a little spot in the shower. Okay. Where it looks kind of cloudy, almost like soap scum. Yeah. They're going to re-grind that and re recode it. Do you ask him if he can do so a little maybe, here? Maybe, maybe he could fix something with that in the meantime. Yeah. Cool. But you can see the difference between how this, how smooth this is, mm -hmm. where they didn't put the, the stuff and how this has got traction. Can you see that? Like yeah. this is what it looks like before they spread the stuff on it. Or yeah. Something. Sweet. Cool. Counters are being measured in a little bit here too, so. Nice. I know. Excited. Just keep swimming. Wow. Well. Start picking away at the to-do list for me and keep up with all these other guys that are coming to work on the house. So. early winter morning checking out all the progress that we have going on the house every day now it's just something going on so I just always want to get a nice view and give you a nice tour of uh, where we're at it says it's just changing so much so let's go ahead and take a look here 
la la la. I can't wait till our door changes, but it works for now. little bench for people come to get the hair done. A dispensary there. Hair station. Just a love this sink here. Absolutely amazing. Doors are getting in. Doors, trim, and more doors. changing I'm just trying to keep up on it I can't wait to look back at all these videos and see how far everything has come it's just gonna be amazing to see bench going in there put a mirror in here I'm sure Ian's gonna lay all this stuff in front of my mirror but um, still nice feature to have So much for watching this episode and seeing our progress so far yes thank you jerry you've been helping us out immensely on this whole project and we can't thank you enough you're you're a talented carpenter and an even better friend for just sticking with us and helping us out mm -hmm. washi commercial finishes you guys killed the floor just like you did painting these beams in fact even better um, you guys, these are the guys that painted the structural steel black early on in the build mm -hmm. and they just did a beautiful job on the floor. Rick, Jeremy, Matt, you guys all did a wonderful job. Thank you so much for helping us out on this. And thank you so much to Dro from Twin Rivers Cabinetry and working with you on all the details of every drawer and what's going in them and I appreciate that. And Aaron from Dan's Custom Trim for coming out and sharing your talents with us and getting the cabinets installed not only on regular sheetrock walls also working with the container walls so uh, a lot of time and attention to detail with that really appreciate it something new for him on this build installing cabinets and containers yeah um, as you can see behind me we got a little sneak peek of the beautiful stainless steel cable railing that got installed so That'll be in an upcoming episode, but this turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think you guys are gonna love it, and sorry we gotta tease you with a sneak peek, but you can't see it yet. We're not ready. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's. You're able to have some relaxing time with your family and friends, and we'll have a new video out in January of 2024. So we'll see you next year. Rock and roll. Just remember, you guys, <laughs> caviar taste. On a sunfish budget.